What is up, Breaking Bad fans? Kino here, and welcome to another day of Breaking Bad Tober. Today we're looking at the 11th episode of Season 5, Confessions. Now, we open the episode in a diner outside of Arizona. Todd leaves Walt a voicemail telling him about the change in management with Declan. He then goes inside and brags to his uncle and Kenny about the train robbery. He conveniently leaves out the killing of Drew Sharp, of course. Afterward, in the bathroom, Jack wipes blood from the shootout off of his boot. They then drive their stolen methylamine back to New Mexico. After the title, Hank enters the interrogation room. He tells Jesse that he knows that Walt is Heisenberg and asks for Jesse to give him information on Walt. Hank can tell that things are bad for Jesse given that he was throwing money around town and tries to push him into confessing. Jesse, however, refuses as he hates Hank for beating him up a few seasons back. Saul then arrives and shuts down the interview, having heard about Jesse on the news. He scolds him for endangering them and then calls Walt, who instructs Saul to get Jesse out of there no matter what. Meanwhile, Walt Jr. tells Walt that he's going over to Marie's. Realizing that she's trying to lure him over there, Walt reveals to his son that his cancer is back. This is of course a manipulation by Walt, and funny enough, he says he doesn't want to keep anything from him, when of course he's still lying to him with every single breath. When Hank returns home later that night, Marie asks how it went. Hank reveals that he didn't tell them yet, and refuses to until he can chase some things down. Meanwhile, Walt sits down at home in front of a video camera. Skylar asks him if he's sure about this, but he says that there's no other way. He then begins a confession, repeating the same line he said at the beginning of the series. My name is Walter Hartwell White. I live at 308 Negra Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87104. This is my confession. My name is Walter Hartwell White. I live at 308 Negra Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87104. To all law enforcement entities, this is not an admission of guilt. <sighs> the next day, the Whites and the Schraders have a tense meeting at a family restaurant. Walt and Skyler try and convince Hank to stop the investigation, as it would destroy their family. Hank makes it clear that he will never back down, and insists that the only solution is for Walt to confess his crimes. Realizing that there's no point to try to negotiate, Walt gives Hank a DVD and leaves. Hank and Marie then watch the DVD and see something truly shocking. Get down to my damn dungeon, you dope. I'm Shell Tong, owner of Shell Tong's Dungeons for over 25 years. Come get your spanks. We have over 25 specialty rooms to fulfill all of your S&M fantasies. We've got your jail cell room, your traditional dungeon room, your doctor's office room, your bounce house room, your office room, and my personal favorite, the baby room. Let me like you. Nah, just kidding. In reality, it's a tape of Walt confessing to his crimes. However, he also implicates Hank as the mastermind behind everything painting himself as Hank's pawn. He weaves real details into the narrative, such as the fact that he paid for Hank's medical bills using drug money. With that detail connecting them, Hank realizes that he cannot turn Walt in without implicating himself as well. The next day, Walt meets Saul and Jesse out in the desert. Jesse tells Walt what Hank told him, and also says that he hasn't told the DEA anything yet. Walt suggests that Jesse use Saul's disappearer guy to set up a new life for himself away from New Mexico. He paints it as being for Jesse's own good, but Jesse, seeing through Walt's manipulations, calls him out on it. He knows that Walt is doing this for himself, and also realizes that Walt will have him killed if he does not do what he says. Walt then does something uncharacteristic and hugs Jesse tightly. Now, let's talk about this hug. Some people think that this is just Walt trying to manipulate Jesse again and trick him into thinking that he cares about him. And I can totally understand that, as this is what Walt does throughout the show. However, when I watch this scene, I do see some genuine affection from Walt towards Jesse. 
It doesn't negate any of the awful things he does to him, of course. I view Walt almost as an abusive parent to Jesse. The parent might still in their mind love their child, but it doesn't excuse any of the abuse. But I do think that in some way, Walt did love Jesse, and this was a moment where he showed that. Later, Walt is at the car wash with Skylar. She is unhappy with what they did to Hank and Marie, but Walt insists that it will work. Meanwhile, at the DEA, Hank has guys watching Jesse Pinkman. When Gomez questions the order, Hank calls it off, but refuses to admit what this was all about. Later, Jesse is taken to Saul's office, where Saul contacts the disappearer. Jesse starts smoking weed, but Saul tells him that the guy won't pick him up if he's high. Jesse puts it away, but he refuses to give up the weed. When asked about where he wants to go, Jesse decides Alaska, and is excited about starting a new life there. Jesse is then taken to the spot and told to wait for the guy. He looks for his weed, but finds that it's not on him anymore. He realizes that Huel must have taken it, and also connects the dots that Huel took the rice and cigarette from him for Walt. He ditches his meeting with the disappearer and barges back into Saul's office. He assaults him and holds him at gunpoint, demanding the truth. Saul admits that it was him, but says that he had no idea what Walt was planning. Jesse then leaves in Saul's car and takes it to the White residence. He kicks in the door and begins throwing gasoline everywhere, preparing to burn the house down. The title Confessions refers not only to Walt's fake confession DVD, but also Saul's confession to Jesse about his role in Brock's poisoning. When Hank and Marie are watching the DVD, you can see a fly on the screen. No idea if that's another reference to the fly episode, or if one just happened to be there while they were filming. Speaking of bugs, when Jesse is in the desert, a tarantula walks by, another reminder of what happened to Drew Sharp. When Uncle Jack scrapes blood off of his boot, it's similar to when Mike scraped Victor's blood off of his sleeve. Finally, this is one of the last episodes where a number of characters ever interact with each other in the series. It's sad when you think about it, because we're really reaching the end game here. For five seasons, we've been watching these characters interact and grow together, but it's now all falling apart at the end. But we've still got five more episodes to get to, so we're not completely done yet. And that's pretty much everything I have to say about the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next Breaking Bad vlog, coming soon. My name is Pure Kino. I live at youtube.com slash C slash pure Kino. This is my video. Russell, Sean, Heart of Markness, Logan, Clean, John Reyna, Jesse Sterling, Andrew Stewart, Ops Gracing Media, Daz J Kid, Conan Higgins, Sam Cedarlin, Don Lucania, Celery Man, Jenna Marie Johnson, Brad Smith Studios, and Uncle Mike.